Okay, so first thing I want to point out about this problem is that I labeled x and x, and then I put y and y, and then z and z, and a and a, b and b. Next thing I want to point out about this problem is the solution I'm about to give I do not think is obvious, and maybe I'm missing some sort of theorem or something, um, but this is the way I found to do it. Um, you see that x plus y um, gives you 12 over here. And then y plus z also gives you 12. Well, if they're both equal to 12, they must be equal to each other. And if you subtract y from both sides, you get x is equal to z. Um, so wherever I see a z, I could actually put an x. Put it right there and there. Um, and then the next thing I notice to do is that x plus b is equal to 10, and x plus a whoops, is equal to 11. And then if you add those two up, you get 2x plus a plus b is equal to 21. And right now it might be completely unobvious why I'm doing any of this. But, um, one thing that you can do is use the fact that you know that a plus b is equal to 13. So I'll put a 13 where I see that a plus b. And then 2x plus 13 is equal to 21. So I use the fact that a plus b was equal to 13. And then that gives me 2x is equal to 8 if I subtract the 13 from both sides. And then x is equal to 4. So um, it was not obvious at all. In fact, the way I figured this problem out was I just wrote equations like crazy. I went x plus y is equal to 12. z plus y is equal to 12. Um, z plus a is equal to 11 because there's originally a z there. And then I wrote a plus b is equal to 13. And I just tried to play around with the ways I could possibly solve these. In fact, I'm still missing one. x plus b is equal to 10. Um, and I eventually played around with it until I saw that I had two sides that were equal to 12. So I knew x plus y would equal y plus z. And I was able to figure out that x was equal to z. Um, and then I tried putting x wherever I saw z. And I tried figuring out what way I could solve those um, equations. Um, and eventually playing around with it enough, I came across the fact that I could add up um, the ones that both had x in them, and a plus b would be something that I knew, so I could just substitute it in. Again, not obvious and might not help you with the proof on the test, but um, here's the solution.